Yeah, I'll throw on a stream one day, Sim. Sim, and uh, I'll get you to check it out. I got some really cool horror movies. I'm already dead. He was on me, man. I wasn't even near anything. I was at a campfire. Yeah, he was... I was checking out a campfire and the motherfucker popped up out of nowhere. Bullshit. Oh, I'm back as Tommy. Nice.
Yeah. I'm gonna grab that fuse. Okay. Where's the fuse hose? Holy shit! Is that a dead body? I'm stuck! Ah, help me! Oh, Please, fuck anyone! Fuck this idiot! Okay, we going to the fuse house? Sorry, Chris, I didn't mean to call you an idiot. <laughs> there we go, give him a call. I'm gonna go stick this battery in the car. I think I put that on, right? Okay, I got the gas in the two-seater. That reminds me of an old Stagnate Life skit from years ago. What was George Michael? Look at my butt, it's perfectly round. Look at it. I just stuck the battery in it. Is there? What did I stuck it in? What did I go to? I swear, unless I stuck it in the four-seater. I thought I was at the two-seater. Oh crap, I'm at the four-seater. I'll come and get it. Yep. Yeah. Right across from you almost. Are you a female? You want to go for the sweater? You should be right there. The sweater should be directly across from you. Hey, Sin, I think you're at the sweater right now.
No dice? You want me to come over there with you or no? Want me to grab the axe? Okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah, okay. It is left. didn't make it? That's my good boy. Mommy has a reward for you. Come home, sweetie.
So how does that work, Sin, when it comes to, like, when you sub somebody? Like, you, I've, I've never actually done that before. Like, what, what, it comes, like, right out of your bank account or something, or...? Okay. Okay. Come on, let me be Jason. Bullshit. Did anyone else get away?
Holy fuck, man. I'm trying to find Tommy's cat, and I cannot find Tommy. Oh, the game's gonna fucking die again. I just lost connection. Oh. Yeah, I really wish they would uh, fix that, like switch it over to like a new host or something like that. I was on a roll, man. I had my pocket knife, my firecrackers, my health. I was going for the battery.
says that, I just can't think of it. I also heard they're coming up with new counselors for the game, too.
<laughs> That's what I wash my face in every night. Hey Sin, have you seen um, Don't Go Hiking Alone yet? It's a... What's that? It's good, man. It's Friday the 13th, eh? Yeah, and um, Tom Matheson, the guy that actually plays Tommy in part six, plays Tommy in this one. Yeah, give it a watch. It's pretty good. He's here right now. But I'm in a mowing hiding spot. Thank God for mowing. Do you know who he sounds like? You ever see the movie Napoleon Dynamite? He totally sounds like Napoleon no! Dynamite. Tommy's been called, the cops are called, we got a battery in. Everybody's off to the left hand side of the map. He's at the main house. leaves.
I was like having a knife. I'll, I'll run into, okay, I'm going for the propeller. Hey, what did you think of, uh, remember Motley Crue got that other guy for, like, Hooligans Holidays or whatever? What did you think of that? You, neither did I. Where is he? Okay. I'm still looking for the bloody gas for this friggin' boat.
Oh shit, this ain't good. Okay, let me get my P's and Q's. Oh, there's the boat. Oh, there's the gas. Gets out of here. I used to date a chick from Slovakia. I know, this is crazy, man. I want to go for that damn gas, but I didn't know there was just me and that other person left. I thought you guys were all up there beating them up. Oh, it's just me now. Yeah, I thought you guys were up there fucking with them, so I was running around looking for the damn gas. Time's left, sin. Oh my god. Fuck. I would live off tacos if I could. Anything Mexican I love. Oh fuck dude, I keep forgetting you can't eat shit like that. Hey, when are you doing that thing with um your rocker buddies again? Oh in June, right? You said it's going to be in June, right? 
Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to be around for that. I wish I still had that record. I had it, but I sold it for some chocolate milk years and years ago. He's here, man. I'd be bolting if I knew. I know he's in the house. Somebody giving you a hard time? It's a spanking too. You definitely are a fun kind of dude there, that's for sure, man. I hear you.
Come on, let me be Jason. Throw me a bone. Okay, good to know. I'm going for the battery right now, I see it. But, uh, oh, somebody grabbed it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm going to look for the fuse now. Some, they took off of the battery, so I'm going to... I'm on a fuse hunt. Yeah, buddy? You just drove by?
There you go, buddy. That's for you. Did that help? Ha ha ha. Oh, that's the least I can do for you since I've... Oh, Kirk grabbed me. Where's the damn fuse? Where was it? I was looking for that. The fuse. Oh, I thought you said you seen the fuse on the map. search. I checked uh, a lot of these houses around the barn sin. I don't... I'd say like 80% of the time I'm running around looking for the sweater when I play.
Got it. Buddy. Oh, not much. How was your day today? Yeah? What'd you do? Did you go to rebound tonight? How'd that go? Yeah? You want to come over for a hangout tomorrow? Yeah? Play some bits and watch a movie or something? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Who's Ashley? Is that the one from Patrol yet? Oh, you got a new girlfriend. Where did she, where did she live? In Sarnia? Is she nice? She smoke? She do drugs? Atta boy, atta boy. Well, you wanna, you're coming over this weekend, right? Alright, well, do you wanna, if I don't see you tomorrow, do you wanna come over for a movie on Thursday? Do you wanna watch that Don't Go Hiking Alone movie? What's up, Jason? You'll be eh? Yeah. And uh, the guy that plays Tommy from Part Six plays Tommy in this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's got Jason in it and everything. It's like a fan-made movie, but it, Buddy did like such a good job. They're they're putting it out on DVD. Yeah. Like I watched bits and pieces of it last night. It's good acting. It's not cheesy. It's not nothing. It's pretty good. Yeah, you want to come over and watch it on Thursday? What, Jason? Uh, I'm not even sure. It's, he's like a, like a zombie Jason, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but no, he looks, he looks pretty good at it and stuff. And, but, uh, yeah. No, he's, no, he's like good size. He's not too big, he's not too small. He's like, like average, you know what I'm saying? What's Rye doing? Is he, oh, he's still there? Alright. Alright. Alright, ask him if he's still come by and I, I will see you on Thursday. If he's still coming by. Yeah. He must be coming by. Alright, buddy. And I'll see you Thursday? Alright, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye. Uh, my boy's got himself a girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, six nineteen.
Fuck, all I see is knives whipping by your head. Knives whipping by your head. Where are you from, Chris? Hmm? Where are you from, buddy? Oh, wow, cool. Ontario, Canada, buddy. That's funny, man. Like, when you told me, Sin, that you're from, like, Las Vegas, I was like, oh, cool. Buddy tells me he's from uh, L.A. Oh, cool, but with somebody, like, where am I from? Ontario, Canada. They're like, oh. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Yay. <laughs> uh, do you remember uh, for the Senators by the name yeah. Really? That's awesome. 
When I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, Wayne Gretzky came to my hometown here, Sarnia, Ontario, before he was big, right? And he was signing autographs at the bank. And I got an autograph hockey puck signed by Wayne Gretzky. Didn't know who the fuck he well, we didn't know who he was. None of like he wasn't big at time. He went right out and played row hockey with that autograph puck. Jason a couple of times too. when I do when that's happened with me with you I just run and end up running into somebody yeah. oh shit he's got me run 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 stuck on a rock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need to learn, man. 90% of the time I take a swing, he grabs me.
That's what it's all about, man. Like, I'm pretty choosy on who I talk to. Like, there's only you, my buddy James I met on the PlayStation that lives in England. I've been talking to him for four years straight. Yeah, like, a, a small handful of people, because I find that there's so many assholes on, on this, man, and I just don't want to bother with them. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. And that's why I started, when I was watching your stream, I would start typing in little messages because you came across as like a pretty down-to-earth, pretty laid-back cat. So I was like, oh, I got to get to know this guy. It was cool, dude, absolutely. I, I it was yeah. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a hard guy to get along with, dude. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I've always been the guy that I'll give you my last five bucks. I'll give you my last cigarette. I'd give you the shirt off my. I, that's just me, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a perfect man, but I'm not a bad man. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, there's only, uh, there's another guy I came with, too, for Friday the 13th. My buddy Destroyer, I met him through this, and he's actually a pretty cool guy, too. But it's just basically you and, like, your friends I'll end up gaming with, and my buddy Destroyer on that. I'm actually... When I get back work, and I'm probably going to buy that South Park game. I'm such a huge fan of South Park. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the TV show, so I definitely want to check. And when I was watching you play it, it looked like it was pretty well bang on, just like watching the actual TV show, the graphics and all that. episodes the one with Randy Marsh Prize Blockbuster video. He's the shining and all that crap. <laughs> oh look kid, it's Captain America Thor and Honey Boo Boo. <laughs>
old ankle breaker. Tension off, yeah. Yeah. It's like a firefighter running them right into the fire, eh? That's what I say, thank you. swing and they grab me. Oh, she ran past that health spray. To mommy.
Okay, send my kids coming here. I'm gonna scare them, so if you hear a scream, don't get mad. Fucking somebody walked by, so I was like, who the fuck's that? And I was like, yeah, right there. there. Yeah. yeah. I figured out they're parked right there in your spot. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, they're I just saying it. They're like, I don't know if you want to do So Brady's got a new girlfriend? Yep. Yeah. So I went to this place today to get my resumes done. I gotta go back on the or streaming. On the third, yeah. To get them done, but they're gonna help me get like right into all the home care. Okay, really? The driver, yeah, they're like, hey, we'll get you like a Red Cross, Bay Shore. There's another one. Yeah, it's awesome. I've been there for like an hour and a half today. Oh, there you go. Fuck, that's awesome. Oh, this is like a smoker hat every day, man. Yeah. Oh, this thing works like it takes the edge off of the nicotine. I'm just not getting that big blast of like it was off my. Not a big puff. I have that other thing. I've not even looked at it. You still might... have mine, right? What? You brought mine to your place, right? Yeah. Next time so. you come over, bring it back, cause I'm gonna see if it's just the battery, like that big battery. I might have to just get a new one. Mm -hmm. Cause this just ain't cutting it. Man. Like it makes me want to stop. And punches somebody in the face when I'm having a neck fit, but yeah, that's what it is. You got light, buddy? All right, so, Thanks, man. so Brady's got a new girlfriend, eh? Yeah. What did my dad brought over for me? He thought they were mine, but they're not mine. Bruce Lee. Oh shit! I'm like, I don't have any clue whose books these are, Dad, but I will definitely take. Them. Oh fuck yeah! It's Bruce Lee's wife right there. Oh my god, man! Fucking had the fire. Oh, buddy, that jerked him <laughs> over, so he went and jerked him over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they all died, right? They put out a bunch of plants and then fucking, they put a bunch on his farm and then. Well, we were putting some on his farm because he was like, yeah, yeah, but halfway through the season, yeah, yeah. he got real goofy with me and my buddy, eh? Right, yeah. So we're like, all right, motherfucker. So we went there. And fucking, I had about fucking eight pounds of fucking weed hanging in my fucking bath it's this great big fucking it's on a, I don't know what break it was but fucking I would come over every day when at work and help him out fuck I'm branch get the trim fucking there's nothing better than sit there fucking watch some videos yeah he burned us so we went and burned him back it was funny cause I had to drop him off this is like Five in the morning. I had to be at work at like six thirty. You know what I'm saying? So if I drop him off, I do a lap, and I can't find him. I'm like, where the fuck is he? And I see my buddy. He's got candle on, and he's running down the street like this, and you can see fucking plants sticking out of his fucking. He's got them all jammed in there. He's got. Get in. Oh, fuck. Get in. Get in. 
I gave you some of that butter we made, right? Remember, I gave, did I give you a chunk of that butter? Yeah, yeah. Follow regulation. That butter was the best. I'd be making rice and I'd throw a fucking couple of of butter in there. Fuck it. Okay, it's so good. When we went and got those donuts and we came back. <laughs> oh, didn't you melt butter and put it over? Yeah, that's what Luke told us to do when we went down there. Fucking, uh, he had it in the crock pot or whatever. It was like right at perfect degrees, and then he just took a bite of your donut and filled it with it. You should meet my buddy Luke. He's a different breed of human, that's for damn sure. Dude, this guy's a monster. We like one of the nicest guys ever. Oh, nice, him. super nice guy, but he, you hear him talk and he, 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 like, he talks like this, got a real deep voice, and he's a no shit guy, but he's super, he's like my best friend. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. But uh, the one day I go down there and he's got his cowboy hat on. He's got two fucking belts going across his chest full of shotgun shells. He's got his rifle strapped on his shoulder. And I come down, this is what he's like, and he's got his two fucking handguns. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck you doing? He's like, whatever I want. <laughs> but he, he's bought it. He just went out and bought an AR, right? Really? At least yeah, it's all bought and paid for. He's just got a wait for the paperwork and to go pick it up. Mm -hmm. But that's the gun they're trying to ban, eh? Oh, that thing's fucking Whoa. lethal, man. Like, there's no matter, like, you know. Do you know that desk? And it's easy to shoot, Do you know that thing. desk that we all sit, like, Luke's sister and I sit here, is that long desk? Yeah. What is that great big hole? Oh, yeah. Right there? Next time you come over with me, look at the hole right there. Luke was fucking cleaning his shotgun. Da, 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 da. Room full of people. Boom! Fucking went off. You know? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Big fucking hole in this fucking desk. Not that big. Yeah, he's got that. He's got the fucking one gun right on the desk. Yeah. I remember that. I'm talking about over there. And he had a sawed off shotgun up there. And he had another one over there. Those were all the eagle, eh? Yeah. Okay. Craziness. He used to always fist fight his older brother back in the day. They still got piranhas. No, he's got, uh, he got rid of the piranhas. He's got this thing. It's about that big. It's like a pike something. It's, it's round. And it's got like a long snout teeth on it. It looks like an alligator. It's oh, thin. Yeah. And he's got a chameleon now. He just went out and bought a chameleon. Well, this guy's dog is fucking uh, huge. Well, at nine months, his dog weighed 120 pounds. Yeah. Like shit, you know, I can put this much of my arm, um, see how he's supposed to be hand in his mouth? This much of my arm. Like when we fight, I'll try to stick my head in its mouth and I can get my head in its mouth, but he don't clamp down on it, eh? Yeah. Hey, yeah. He's awesome. Cane corset and a bull mask of neck. He's a giant. Like when he stands, he's taller than you. Like when I was staying at his trailer, I, like, the bed was right here and there was a window right there, right? And I'd just kind of look over and Hades would be on his fucking legs, looking at me. <laughs> in the mirror, in the window, like, he'll be fine, I'd be like up against it, trying to let me and stuff. <laughs> then I'd let him in the trailer, feel bad for him, then he'd be knocking shit over and fuck, because he's so big, eh? Like, yeah. Nah, he's awesome. Like, he's got a head on all that. The head's awesome. You can ride the dog, man. It's hilarious. And we battle like there's no other one. Me and that fucking dog, man. Because ever since Luke got him, he was just a puppy, and I always played with him. And he'd get a little bit bigger, and I'd play with him, and he'd get bigger, and that, you know, now he's huge. So like, Luke will leave the room, and the dog will look at me, and I'll look at the dog, and it's on. And we're fucking wrestling, and fucking. <laughs> he's got no carpet down there, so the one day, fuck, he followed Luke. Luke went up the stairs, he turned around and looked at me, and I looked at him, and he started fucking. But he couldn't go anywhere because he wasn't yeah. going to her. He was like, he's sliding around. <laughs> and I'm on a chair with wheels, so he finally come barreling at me and jumped at me, and I grabbed him by the fucking ears, and he fucking shot me right back against the wall. Eh? I'm like, oh, fuck. Fucking hold him down. Let him up. He's like, Rawr. fucking, fucking throw him down again. I like big dogs. Yep. Yeah, I don't like the way big dogs. Out of the fuse. You got the fuse? Yeah. 
Oh, I did that hiding spot again, but he couldn't find me, but he eventually did get me. Alright, we got the fuse, and do you know where the fuse house is, bro? Who's Jason Hitchcock? Just there back. Mm -hmm. Will you help me do that? Yeah. What's that? Can we do it at like at 11 o'clock? Is that okay? Yeah. Trust me, this will be like the last <clears throat> month I'll be like this, man. I will be going back to work real soon. <clears throat> oh, God! That's awesome. That's gonna help me with all that. actually my oldest boy Ryan playing right now. He's over for a visit, him and his girlfriend. Okay. Where is the Okay, where did you find it? There? It's got a... It's I found it in the big house. You found it in the big house? I, it's, I guarantee it's... It's in one of these houses right there. Oh, also, I know how I'm gonna scare the shit out of Anderson. Huh. I'm gonna hook up that fucking Annabelle doll with fucking fishing string. Oh, a little wow. fucking hook so when I pull it, it stands up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do it anytime soon because he's still in the house. Oh, wow. What'd you give me this for? I get nothing in it. No, no, no. You, that's, there's another part you're gonna make.
you know the video for uh, Wish You Were No, no not Wish You Were Here. It's like Guns N' Roses 2. It's, it's for uh, Terminator 2. You know what I'm talking about? You could be mine? Uh, Bob's cool. I, I don't know. Well, the video I for it is it's Arnold walking through the bar. It's like Arnold's in the music video, right? Well, he was there for it. He was like, shooting stuff for it and stuff like that. And That's fucking insane. Yeah. Ah! Uh oh. This guy's screwed. Help me, please, anyone. Watch that movie. Don't go hiking alone. What? It's a it's a fan made Friday the Thirteenth movie, but it, Buddy did such a good job of it that they, they released it on DVD, eh? Oh boy! And uh, the guy that plays Tommy from Part Six plays Tommy in this. Huh? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Don't go hiking alone. Yeah. Are you done? I thought it would have been dumb because it's a fan made movie, like I said, but no buddy did. It's better than some fucking movies. Great. Yeah. Well, they did for an all main one is fucking college home. Yeah. He's killing me! Well, same with Friday the 13th. It was made on a budget of, uh, well, 700000 It's a lot of money to us, but it's not a lot Great. of money for a movie. movie, but it made like. 60 million. Mommy is proud of like, holy shit. But it's time to come home now. I said over 70 times. Yeah, man. That's fucking insane. And all of them, except for I think one or two, was released on Friday the 13th. gym membership. Ooh, that fit for less. You got one there? I've been in there a couple of times. I don't mind it. <coughs> you know, that or you pay, was it at Ironworks? What? Three, four hundred bucks yeah. for a year. Then the only difference between Ironworks and this and that fit for less is Ironworks has fucking showers. Yeah, that's it. Um... That's got a lot more machines, but... Um, I'd say their weight room is pretty well the same size. The weight room, yeah. Yeah, but upstairs, like, upstairs it's like have a whole yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Upstairs, it's that's the only thing. I'm trying to think of the new iron works. Yeah, I, I think their their weight room is around the same size as Fit for Less, but Iron Works is just bigger in general. Yeah. Fucking loot to call me back about those. <laughs> oh, ready up. Yeah, I was talking to. A guy I shoot the shit with. He lives in like Tennessee, somewhere down south. And this other chick was in the party talking to him, and she asked me, like, "Did I tell you that? She's from London and London, oh Ontario. yeah, yeah. Like I'm from London. Where are you from? I'm the London watch. Like Ontario." <laughs> you guys aren't partying tonight, or what? Yeah, it's taking it easy. Uh, 
I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can tell me who's singing this song. Actually, I'll give you all my stuff if you can tell me who sings this song. <laughs> she still looks good to this day, man. Oh, wow. Lita Ford. Lita Ford? You ever heard of the old band, The Runaways? They made a movie about them, like Joan Jett. Mm -hmm. She was in The Runaways. I can't believe he killed them! But she was a big rocker bitch from the 80s. She did a bunch of She did an awesome tune with Ozzy Osbourne. I can't remember what it's called. But... Oh, shit. I can't give a shit, dude. Wasn't she with the lead singer Wasp for a little bit back in the day? Okay. I do. Okay, I'll be right there. Hold on, I'll give this right back to you, right? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, right. I, I say we get absolutely fucking goofed on our birthday. You want to come with? This will be the first time me and Ryan have actually drank together. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, me and Ryan are just going to fucking tear the bar apart. Not kidding. That'll be fun as fuck, though. No, we're, we're, we'll, we'll go over we'll a good time. Hell yeah. Yeah, me and Jordan were at Two Amigos last night. You did what? We were at Two Amigos, and like, we got to stay like after, like about a half hour later. Mike Taylor came in and shit, and we were finished up our pool game and pitcher. But like- Aw, oh, did somebody grab that tape? <laughs> yeah. Sin, did somebody grab They're that thing? Fucking weird, man. <laughs> Sorry, Ray, what were you saying, bud? No, it's just these guys were at two amigos finishing up for drinks, like fucking. Like, there's a bunch of other people playing pool. Uh huh. And just like, they're all buddies, but they're just like fucking losing. <laughs> Hey Sin, where did you put that? Uh, did you ever, did like, somebody grab that tape? And shit. Did somebody already grab that Tommy tape? Or pant? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Screw you, Chris. Whatever, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go put the propeller in the boat. Kidnapped your game here, right? Sorry, buddy. I'll get right back to you. That's good. No, I say we go to the two amigos. Right? And I'll watch you. And you can watch a grown man cry like a little girl. <laughs> yeah, well, I will. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking walk right up to him. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going on here? Got it. 
Oh, fuck. I'm still there, so Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I'd really appreciate if you can do that with me tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm dead. No problem. Who's got a hair for Fuck, it's Jesus. You hear that? Yeah. Got me up. <laughs> what are you going to be up for? Take a grocery store. Oh, you're getting up early, eh? Like, 10.30. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's my early. <laughs> Crazy. That's early on the day. Fuck that game, I have yeah. like four days late. Day. I just have a lot of lag. You should, you should ask them what their policy is on stolen games. Right. So they left with my girlfriend's car and her car got broken in there. Cheers. Cheers. I don't know though. I think I might not. No, know. you should do that. I'm just not going to go back. Get Dragon Ball. And then. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball. <laughs> I was wondering because I know they it would be like all that shit's insured, right? For like for that sole purpose. Yeah. Yeah, but then you could say, well, I was about to get raped. Yeah. And I was gonna get raped. So I, the last thing I game. thought about was your fucking game. And you say it too. Go in there pretending you're gay and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> now I do a bean so I just like go making it like get someone. He's Jacob Burglar's name. That's what I should have done. Yeah, Jacob Burglar. <laughs> do it. Here's my number. Is that the dude that fucking hits you over the face? You still got your scratch there too, eh? Yeah. That might be there. There's my hand. I'll be like that forever. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have a scar on my head right now. Oh, crazy. Did you do it right? No, you didn't. If you would have done it right, you'd be fucking... You'd be dead. You'd be... Yeah, you'd be hurt. Dumb. You'd be a little dumb. Hmm. That's quick, though. As soon as he was going to swing it, like, grabbed it. I remember sitting at the bar one day when two of my buddies had... Beef with you, like my one buddy banged this guy's girlfriend, eh? I was staying out of it. Then I watched my one buddy, my one buddy, Carl. Carl bangs everybody's girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he was standing like this talking to somebody, and I was off in the corner sitting down talking to somebody, and I watched my buddy chase your potty, which is just one, like two of the biggest pussies ever. And I watched Jason well, walk right up behind him, fucking wind up to fucking give him a sucker. And fucking messed him here. Fucking fell this way. Like my buddy's car like buddy messed him completely, fell like that. My buddy Carl was like, what? And fucking jumped on him. Oh my Dude, God. how do you miss that? Complete oh, almost, the guy had his back turned in his filming. That's one of the biggest things. I like I did a lot of marks accuracy. Carl I could punch him at the same spot over and over, but Carl was the one that chewed up from our cutting uh, with uh, cherry champagne. Mm. Can't be real. That's Carl. Standing there talking to people at the bar. Carl, because Carl was talking. You know what I'm saying? And he come up, got my bag hog, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's just like, then he just scooped me off into the crowd, you know? No, I don't got your back, asshole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Carl was the guy that you'd never leave alone in the same room with your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, I watched him. I didn't watch him, but he, he told me straight to my face that he banged my one buddy's girlfriend, which was his best fucking friend. Mm -hmm. said, you are fucking dirty, girl. Oh, um, yeah. What a scumbag. Yeah. And the thing is, my buddy's girlfriend was always all over me. All over, like, we'd be at the bar and she'd be like raving my face, fucking me. I'd be at their place partying and she was just always. Then you just got the vibe. Yeah. You know what you're saying? I remember, because I was dating this hairdresser 
back when I was little, I can't remember, in my 20s anyway. And she ended up kind of befriending Heidi, which was my buddy, this and that. And fucking the last two people up were me and Heidi out by uh, the fire, and everybody was all passed out and left, and she, like, literally came on to me. Oh, wow. Yeah. The thing is, if she would have never hooked up with my buddy, I definitely would have been like Ooh, yeah. She was a super cool chick. She was pretty. But my buddy's old lady, right? Right. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, if they would have never hooked up, and if I would have met her, I definitely would have hooked up. Yeah, some chicks are fine, man. Yeah. But then again, she's a big slut. She's obviously fucking guys when she's with my buddy, right? Like right. she banged Carl. She come on to me. But my buddy wasn't the nicest guy, you know, so I can kind of fucking see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he was a bit of a dick. Like she was kind of chunky, but not like chunky chunky. Like she wasn't like skinny. Like. They get fucking bag of bones. Like, how tall are you? Stand up for a sec. Yeah, you're pretty... Yeah, I think it's about... Maybe your height may be a little bit shorter. But a little bit meatier than you. You know what I'm saying? But she wasn't like... She didn't... She, she wasn't like... She didn't look gross or nothing. Yeah. She looked good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Great to Yeah, nice. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So what was the only like calling fat and shit? Oh, we're uh, eating chicken wings one day, drinking beers, and she ordered, I think uh, she ordered like a steak. And there was me and a couple of my buddies, and he looked right at her, right in front of all of us, and he said, you're getting a salad for me. Oh, man. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. He's a great big bastard, too. Actually, that's the first time I broke my hand was over a space in my driveway. Oh, is that the guy with the car? The Irish? Yeah, yeah, that's Percy. What did you do last night? It was my dad. Oh, nothing. So no. Just with all the blood in the driveway. Oh. Talking to my dad, I'm like, nothing's going on. I got a black eye, I got three stitches and a black cast on my hand, but I'm hiding my cast, eh? Nothing what? <laughs> My dad will tell you too, he always come home. Black eyes, fucking. You know what I'm saying? Always. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I turn 19, man, holy fuck. Off to the bar. But it wasn't me, it was always my buddies. Like, I, the guys I hung out with, other than my buddy Grant. He was the only one that could fucking actually back his words up, but I'd hang with the guys like that, like Griffin and Ogilvy and those, you know? They'd yeah. always be getting into trouble. They could never... Yeah, yeah, in the heat, stay in the kitchen. My one buddy Dave, he was the toughest guy ever. Probably the nicest guy you'd ever meet. So you talk to him, you wouldn't think he was tough. He wasn't, he was tall, but he wasn't like big, he was built. But he was just a fucking maniac. Yeah? Yeah. I was buddies with him and his brother. The Zilster boys. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Complete opposites in personalities, those two. Big's quiet, and Kate or Jay's is loud. Loud and random. Oh, fuck, I didn't even see him there. He's hanging you up on the wall. Yeah, they had a, another brother, Kevin, and he died when he was 19. Hello? He died of cancer. Oh, fuck. Yeah, when we're all at school <clears throat> one day, this is when we're all at St. Clair. He went home, found out he had cancer. Then me and Jay were both at Big Owls at this time. This is only like maybe six months later. I remember me and Jero fucking smoking, fucking, that, that, and then we looked down the hall and we'd seen his mom coming up, and I remember Jay's just like, oh fuck, Kevin's dead. Yeah. I was like, no, 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 sure as shit, his mom come to tell him. Oh, 
Holy yeah. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Their cousin Phil, which was another good buddy of mine, he was always fucking, he'd always have the fast bike game with me. me. Racing, always racing people. He even raced the oh, fucking guy in the crotch oh, in the back. What happened? And in that fucking cars like that, man. Scared as yeah. fuck. And I remember getting off the bike and I go, you're going to fucking kill yourself one of these days, Bill. Fucking sheer shit. Ten years later, fucking racing a guy home from work and fucking it was a car, though. Rolled his car and died. Yeah, sure as shit. That's fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. Bill was the funniest fucking guy ever. So funny. That was their cousin. Yeah, good times. Yeah, last time I seen Phil was at Jay's 30th birthday party. So Phil's got to be dead for. Well, Jay's going to be 41. Yeah, so Phil's been dead for at least 10 years. Holy. So that happens when you race them, though. Yeah. Old buddy Phil, that was pretty damn shitty. And then there one guy getting a uh, motorcycle crash, too. Oh, Barnsey, yeah, he, got his, he lost his leg. Yeah, all fucked up riding his bike, fucking lost his leg. <laughs> Who else? So many people. I know. I've had so many fucking people over the last 10 years either fucking kill themselves or OD. Yeah. Yeah. My one buddy, you remember Stevie? He used to come around. You're little though. The guy got burnt in a chip truck. Yeah. He'd come by in his Harley. Yeah. And he died. He overdosed. He died. <laughs> Yeah, he got a shitload of money for that. He got like five or six million and blew through all that. On dope. When he died, they had to liquidate some of the shit for money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So he didn't owe it so much? Yeah. That's what happens, man. That's what that shit does to you. Fuck yeah, you got six million. You're set for life. Yeah. yeah. Two million to fucking set your life. Man. If you had a million dollars and you put that million dollars, you'd be into an account, you'd be getting roughly about fucking a hundred thousand interest a year off that. Mm -hmm. If you put it in the right account, tell me you cannot live off a hundred grand. But me, I would take fucking half of it and put half in a bank account. I would take half, I'd probably spend about a hundred and fifty on a house. Got myself a car. Get you guys a car. Get luxury necessities for oh, sure. I get you a car, I get Brady a car, I get Anderson a car, I get Chelsea a car. I pay for my parents to go on a vacation. Then maybe dump 20 grand each into a fucking bank account for years or something like that and let that, well, you probably get it right off the hop, but I'd wait for the boys to be 18 or 20 or something like that to get it. That's what I would do. Then I put time on my own and Then I would be on my way to get my green card, then I'd be going down to Key West. And sitting there drinking out of a pineapple all fucking day. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. Oh, I'm so pumped up about this, man. So I'm finally, finally, finally get there done. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, oh, an interview prep. Because I told her I basically shit the bed on my interview for the VOM. And then, yeah. I know, I know my job like the back of my head. Every person I've ever taken care of at the nursing home or even in the home care, they all fucking love me. I had a guy in Bright Scrope that was going to give me his Mustang for 500 bucks. Just him and his fucking wife and kid left me. Remember that? That yeah. Mustang? But they didn't. Absolutely loved me. He's getting our $500. Yeah. It was like barely anything wrong. It was Dennis's, but Dennis ended up in a wheelchair. Couldn't drive it anymore.
Yeah, that's one dude I really miss. He's still alive, but he was part of my home care crowd. I should probably go by and visit him, but I don't know if he'd be pissed at me for... Because he loved me. Mm-hmm. He's like, you're the best piece stuff you ever had. I wish my, I wish my son was like you, Derek. Because I guess his son was his son at the time. Well, he's got to be He's gotten close to 50 now, his son. You know what I'm saying? He's like, Derek. Like, what? Because I come in and fucking like, yeah, fucking, you know, another one last night, Dad, that's why I did pop, pop, you know what I'm saying? you know? 50 years old, never had a girl. Yeah, Holy well, he's, fuck, at, at the time, I'm thinking Danny was maybe 40, 46, you know what I'm saying? Never had a girlfriend. For no reason, man, holy shit. He lives at home with mom and dad, has an awesome job. I don't get it. I don't get it. And he's, he's not like a, a goofy, ugly, fucking goofy dude, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. That's <laughs> out. What's wrong with you, Derek? I'm like, fuck, I don't know, guys. <laughs> We'd be making fun of this kid in front of me and shit. <laughs> You should take him out with you some night and introduce him. I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> what do you mean, introduce him, man? Like, yeah. Cut the music! Everybody, it's Danny. <laughs> Danny doesn't get laid, so anybody here wanna fucking. Oh, anybody wanna help Danny out? <laughs> Get yeah. in the back, get the load, come one here. Time, he's like, yeah, well, me and a couple of my buddies, we're all going camping, you want to go? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I didn't want to go, so I was, you know, I didn't want to be rude. He's like, yeah, none of us are drinkers or anything like that. I think that, well, I go camping, I'm getting shit-faced. I smoke out like there's no tomorrow. I fucking, none of us smoke out. Cigarettes, oh, the one guy smokes cigarettes, so I get along with him. So it was getting, to, this is like three, four months prior that he kept bringing it up, talking about it. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. And the next thing you know, it's like two, three weeks away. And I'm starting to fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go. Yeah, yeah, I want to go. Fuck. So I was like, fuck Danny. My aunt's coming down from Scotland, bro. And fucking, she's only going to be here for three days. Then they're taking her to Vegas. Then we're going to Mississippi. I haven't seen her in fucking 20 fucking. I can't go. <laughs> hmm. Oh, fuck, man. I'm like, dude, it's my aunt. I haven't seen her since I was, like, 19, man. You know? Which was true. You know what? If they would have been... I don't care if they're fucking nerdy or what, but if they were going to sit around and get shit-faced, I would have won. Yeah. Absolutely, but... What are you going to do, man? Like, exactly. I don't know why everybody there. You know what I'm saying? And Danny's a straight and narrow type guy. Fucking, he doesn't know I smoke dope. Fucking, I'm thinking, if I fucking unleash, you know, you guys smoke dope? No, you guys mind if I do? Fucking, that is all night long. I, I, I'd probably get a bad impression off him, you know? Yeah, I always hate that when you go. I mean, like, yeah, it's cool, but then you know their eyes are on you. They're just like watching what they do. Right you know, Wayne down the street, right? Big Wayne? Well, me, him, and Randy went to Ottawa. One uh, weekend at the party, Randy's girlfriend was living down there. So we went there to party, and we're like, I got a half ounce of weed, and Wayne's got a half ounce of weed, and a fucking car full of beer, and like, we get to her brother's place, and there's a whole bunch of people there, and fucking, hey, how you doing, blah, 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 And they go, hey, uh, you guys want to get high? And they're like, oh, we don't, we don't smoke pot. And I went, really? And they're like, yeah, and I go, well, fucking, woof. And I go, do you guys mind if I get high? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Me, me, Wayne, are really smoking it. Now we're standing, and this in the middle of winter, freezing our fucking ass off for about 45 minutes to get into this bar. So we finally get in the bar, fucking poof, right up the bar, get a beer, fucking drinking, a couple of red cokes. I go mingle with the people that we're with, and they're all standing there, and none of them, I look at them, and none of them got a drink in their hand. And I go, hey, bro, want me to go get you a beer? And it's like, oh, we don't drink. We just come to dance, and I was like, what? He's got a dance. I look at Randy, I go, what the fuck, Randy? I go, you said it's going to be an awesome fucking weekend, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> we'll make the long story short. 
I left that bar by myself and went across the street to party at the other bar. You know, had a fucking awesome good time. Said, fuck these guys. Hopped in a cab, and I don't know how the fuck I found my way back. I've never been to Ottawa in my life. This is the first time I've ever been in Ottawa. Got back to Buddy's place in a cab. Fucking made it back. I don't know. I was loaded. This is how drunk it was. The next day, we were still partying. I ended up in Quebec. And I didn't know we're in Quebec. We're in Hull, Quebec. And we're at this casino. And we're ordering food. And everybody's speaking French. And I'm just loaded. And I look at my buddy Lane and go, This is maybe we fucking speak English around here, man. What the fuck? He's like, Dude, we're in Quebec. And I was like, What? What the fuck? When the fuck did we get to Quebec, dude? It's just right across. Yeah, the yeah. Way. When the fuck did we get to? It, was, it ended up being a pretty good weekend, but it was. That's hilarious. Nobody wanted to party. We ended up partying the one yeah, I night. I think they're waiting for you. Oh, no, no, there. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, that totally was awesome. It was it, it was kind of a fun night, but we ended up getting stuck with I'm just Randy. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Everybody has party if I were right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't drink. We don't smoke. No, we don't <laughs> drink. We come to get. We come to. Get, get, we come to <laughs> I must have just looked like an out of control fucking asshole, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just drunk as fuck. Yeah, like <laughs> fucking dudes. <laughs> if I was looking at you, you just like. That's why you got like the devil horn. Well, I even said to my boy, it's okay, man. I'm from the mean streets of Sarnia. <laughs> the mean streets of Sarnia, eh? <laughs> yeah, Fuck, they got a meaning. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. That's the way it goes. I remember when I was a fucking kid, there was, you'd walk into a variety store and you wouldn't see. Bongs, pipes, fuck it was just candy, magazines, fucking pop at the back, you know? Yeah, they're right by a couple of old ladies. Now you walk in, it's a goddamn hemp store, fucking. Yeah, they just start. Yeah, they just start. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, it's a No, it's gonna be me. Fuck! Whereabouts are you right now, buddy? <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure I'm not at that place then, because I always get spawned there. Here's another good one here that I've seen. But you gotta have two people in there, and you gotta shut the door, right? Mm -hmm. Then you go right here, and the other person opens the door, and you cannot be seen. Yeah. And you can't, you can't open and close it, can you? You can't get back there like that, though, eh? Yeah. You have to have somebody uh, do it for you. Yeah. And then someone would go in there. That's what I would do. I'm by the boat. Oh, is there a boat? Oh. <laughs> I haven't even checked yet. I'm by the boat. I would go check by the graveyard. Yeah, because it's not at that place or else yeah. the campfire would be on there.
Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I can't hang today, man. I'm gonna go. See, Sin knows all about Bob and Doug McKenzie. Yeah? Yeah. I was trying to tell Ryan about Bob and Doug McKenzie, but I don't think he gets it. <laughs> What's this? Watch that movie, Don't Go Hiking Alone. And you'll like it, it's actually pretty good. You can watch it on YouTube. I don't know what you know. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies on YouTube. And you should, did, I, did you watch that Friday 13th memorandum? No. It's a documentary they just put out about Friday 13th Part 3. That's a nice, really good documentary. What, the guy? Yeah, the guy that played Jason. Because he just died. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, man. I'm gonna grab Flume too, and I'm gonna say, hey Mark, do you wanna go get drunk on uh, April 1st, 20 years later? From yeah. that picture that we got there? Yeah. Hey, fucking awesome. It was funny, when I first started partying with Mark, Mark did toke, he did, never did drink, he didn't do nothing. He'd take a pop up and he'd be like, oh my god, I'm having a hard time. And he's like, whoa. It's, it's real. I'll never forget that. <laughs> but. Fucking research it and you see 
how people act, what the fuck it is. The thing is, though, you do it, like some shit, it's, you're pretty well hooked. For example, like, that's what I'm saying. You see how people are after. What makes them, what makes you think you can try it? I'm telling you, anybody ever gives any of those fucking kids anything like that, and I'm gonna fucking kill them. Oh, yeah. Can I show you a Straight up mad murder scene, for sure. Oh, I, I will. I'd fucking, I'd fucking kick the glass right in their fucking mouth. I'd be like, chew yeah. it, motherfucker. If any one of those fucking kids ever get hooked, I'm gonna fucking kill the bastard. Well, first they're gonna drag the fucking ass, but yeah. So, we do homely ab first. You just lock in your fucking room. Yeah. Get your fucking meal slid on the door. Then get to compare to that guy. But yeah, he totally can and they just totally grunge out. That's what I like to see the like, you see how they are, you see how someone is on par. Fucking like, you get the giggles. Well, Oaks was in. always the kitchen. Oaks would be, like, he was always the one that would always want to do. Like, we almost got fucked up, like, you know what I'm saying? But he was always, yeah, but he was always the guy that wanted to fucking just go, go, go. Yeah, I'm crazy, man, I'm crazy. Remember I split this, I was one man. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy, Oaks. Right back in the head, bashed his head right out the corner of a wall. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. We were playing poker. Yeah. No, we were playing euchre, and me and Grant were teams against him and my buddy Beamer. And didn't you and him go like through fat tournaments in the game? Oh, we used to fucking we had they rigged that shit. Yeah, we rigged it, and they could not figure out how the hell we were doing it. One euchre tournaments, we had people stick like they knew we were cheating. Good. Somebody standing there and somebody just watching us. They knew we were cheap because we weren't losing, we weren't fucking giving up any hands. But, but the way we did it was just fucking, it was so simple and foolproof they couldn't catch on. Do you know how we did it? Do you not play Euchre? Do you not play Euchre? Oh, Euchre's the best game. I learned my grade 10 math class. Yeah, it, it's so fun. It's my favorite card game next to poker. But yeah. It's hard to explain, like all you did, oh, you deal just the, uh, I think it's nine to ace, right? Those are the only cards you play with. And the jacks of each suit are the highest cards. Mm. You know, those will beat anything, you know? And uh, what you, so you got the dealer, and my partner sits there, and the two guys are uh, playing against sit across from each other. And you deal with the cards, I think you get four eights, then you flip one up. Now, the guy here, he has a choice of, like, say, like, the nine of spades turns up, and he's got, like, the ace of spades, the king of spades, the jack of spades, and the jack of clubs also is a spade, but it's the second one lower than the jack of spades. Same with, like, the, the, the jack of spades, they're called bowers, the two jacks of each suit, like, there's the red and black. Yeah. So if it was the jack of diamonds, the jack of diamonds and the jack of hearts are both diamonds, but the jack of diamonds is higher than the jack of hearts. The jack of hearts is the second highest one. Then it'll go ace diamonds, king of diamonds. So anyway, so when that card turns up, it's he gets the first choice of making the color. Like he'll tell me to pick it up because if he wants it like diamonds or spades, he'll order me up, and that means I got shit. And he's got all the good cards and open his partner. Has, you just gotta. It's hard to explain. But anyway, so what me and my buddy would do is I we would do, go one tap for red, two taps for black. So. If I, if I was dealing, and this guy passed, and it got to my partner, he gets to either order me up, like, pick it up, you know what I'm saying? Or if he goes, and I got a, there's a red, I know to pick it up, so they both got fucking red hands, and these guys are going to get crushed, so they finally said no tap. So I'm like, we're all right. So we're fucking having a smoke at Brady, like, so let me get there. They say pass for red, I pass for black. Pass, I pass, pick <laughs> they could not figure it out, man. It was awesome. Oh, it's so good. And it's just one little tweak of it. Pass yeah. or I pass. 
it, it's it's hard to explain like the game, but it, it's so fun, man. Like we play for money some nights. Yeah, I think my math teacher every time was a little addicted to that game because every Thursday and Friday, 30 minutes before class ended, he'd break us into groups and all play. You know what? That'd be sick, though. It was fun. We loved it. <laughs> yeah, we played cards. Is, Just is chill. Is that you card person? That's hilarious. Yeah, they couldn't figure it out, man. It was so awesome. Straight up saying, we know you're cheating. <laughs> we know you are. Not as it's proved it. I think I put that on right. Actually worked. Ah! Oh my God! What happened? Shitty driver. Bullshit. That's actually the car from Friday 13th Part 2. Did you know that? Hey, you told me that last time. Yeah. When the chick's like ducking behind it. And yeah. Stuff. And she's kind of hiding around it and he's like kind of off off the side looking for her. Well, I think I'm good with the end. Yeah, what was the last thing you heard? Can't hear anything. But some guy that Grandpa knew already heard that he wasn't getting hired. They didn't tell me that. They, they were, were what? Yeah, they called him and said that they couldn't hire him. How long ago was that? That was like three years ago. <laughs> so I tell you. No, maybe three years ago. I still don't So Grandpa said he's like, like, for me, he's like, relax, fucking. Sometimes, you know, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It still says in my resume, I forgot to see it on the count. It says in review still. Plus, Grandpa John Kenzie, one of our family members, a fucking figure way, to call down to Sanya and check for my resume. And then I got the call. Yeah, I think you'll be alright, dude. I don't think I'm not worried about it. Oh, I gotta get my kit. Hopefully they just fucking... Hopefully they just call just in or some Worst shit. case scenario, if they said no right now, you can still apply later on down the road like Jer oh was. Oh Fuck, I think Jer was... 20 fucking something when he fucking got into the yeah. sea. You know, so it's not like it's a one and done deal, you know? <laughs> I just might get in now and it's like, fuck yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be fine, dude. Fuck yeah. Have you gone down to the hemp store to see how much those are? Or even look at them and see if they have them? Mm -hmm. you know? Mom's gonna buy it for me. It's kind of all the easy peasy I can find a cigarette in my pocket. Um, I'm just gonna wear boxers and fucking have it tied. Too bad you didn't know anybody you didn't tote. Yeah, Anderson. Just kidding. 
Yeah, I mean, I hear you, but it says here that you got the muscle mass of a fucking eight-year-old. Yeah. We don't think you can lift 40 pounds above your head. And... <laughs> Sorry, man, but Basie says that you're a pussy and we, <laughs> we can't take you. <laughs> I was going to say, get your grandpa to fucking piss in it, but it'd be like, holy fuck, it says here that... You're, uh, got the bone density of a fucking <laughs> 16 year old. And... <laughs> Wait, you only have one kidney? <laughs> hey, when does that happen? To... So, what, you guys don't hire guys with one kidney? So, fuck, I can work just as hard as a guy with two kidneys. Yeah. You make fun of my condition? That's discrimination, man. I've been made fun of my whole life about my own kidney. You guys are do it? Yeah, I thought you guys were a professional company. Then when my friends would stop bugging me, they would say, Oh, put this kidney in ya. <laughs> you know? Break down. So pull up, no. see, right out of Fight Club and just start no. laughing at yourself over the head about getting started yelling, Quit beating me up. Bash your head off the fucking table. Somebody comes <laughs> in, you're a bloody mess. He's standing there going, <laughs> Like, no. Did you get those off the upper guys? You're from Fight Club? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna show it out of this place. Have you ever seen it? It's oh, the best twist in the world. It's got the best twist in the world. Oh, oh, well, I'm gonna say that and the usual suspect. And yeah, frailty. Shit. Frailty was a frailty good one. Frailty was a good Have you seen Frailty yet? Mm -hmm. should watch it. That one's fucking scary. It's cool. It's not scary. It's Matthew McConaughey. And he's not, it's not like a Jason type. No, but the whole story of it, I get bet you this one will get it. Yeah, it's, there's an actual killer. <laughs> oh yeah, I had it so set up. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, the tension was on. But I couldn't match it. I couldn't like, fuck it. Just count down. Because she wouldn't come downstairs. <laughs> I would hear him like, Well, if the room is black. It's like, and yeah, it's like, turn on the light. <laughs> Do you know what the girls used to do to me at work on midnight? I remember the one day, fucking probably two, three in the morning, a call bell went off in the room, so I fucking went down there and fucking kept yeah. Reg. His name was Reg. Hey, buddy, what's up, Reg? Oh, something, something. Can you shut my call bell off? So I was like, what? He goes, come closer, come closer. And one of the girls was under the blankets with me. And so I, and I got closer, fucking, she jumped out, scared the shit right out of me. They'd hide under a bed and grab my ankle, fucking. The one, the one night, fucking, it was two, three in the morning, and my partner had to go down another hall to go get something. So we fucking ran in an old lady's room, grabbed a great big sunbonnet and a great big fucking coat, and I grabbed the walker, and all the lights were off in the halls, eh? So I fucking. And I could see through the bonnet, it was like one of those wicker ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There was like little lights on the. The bottom of the, the floor so you can kind of see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I could see her coming down the hall, so I'm walking. And I got the walker like that, and I could see her kind of fucking, like, what the fuck? And I'm getting closer, and I'm getting closer, and she's like, and I fucking threw it and jumped at her, man. And she fucking sorry. And I'm like, shut up, shut up. We're going to wake everybody up. We're going to give me shit. <laughs> give me shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, we used to cloud her out. That'd be awesome. My one buddy, Abby, he was like Iranian or something like that. He worked there. He's like, we we're working with a couple of chicks and he always tried to be cool in front of the chicks. And he's like, come on, hit me right there. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking hit you. He's like, come on, hit me, hit me. And I'm like, I don't want to hit you. So he asked me to hit him again. And I turned around and fucking hit him. And he dropped. But he had his keychain right there. And I hit the fucking keychain right into his fucking chest, eh? He said, like, you broke my xiphoid. And I'm like, get up, you're gonna get me and shit. I don't care if I bro I'm fucking grabbing him, I'm trying to stand him and you broke my xiphoid. <laughs> you're gonna get me and shit. I don't give a shit, man. Get up. And how to do the old wheelchair I, so when someone walking down just push the wheelchair out in the hall. It's just like I remember pushing somebody down the hall in the wheelchair and a fucking spider come down from the ceiling and I just went 
<laughs> let them go, man. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, kind of got around the spider and grabbed them. But... Like that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, let's go. Lots of fucking fun there, man. It was fun. Management loved me. Absolutely loved me. So, like, I could, uh... You gotta get away with some shit, you, you know? Like... Yeah, I used to sneak into Albert's room and go, Albert, ring your call bell. Alright. I'd hide behind the door or in a closet. Fucking whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a cool guy, man. I can have Albert. Yeah, he got the short end of the stick in life, that is for sure. Yeah, he's dying on the bridge. Oh. Oh. Bridge dove in, broke his neck, paralyzed from the neck down. Where did he, where, where did he come from? Um, Warsaw, Poland. I have to do something. I have to escape. Yeah. Didn't speak a lick of English. Fucking. What did he speak? Huh? Polish. I've never heard Polish. They sound like, like Russian. Yeah, they all sound like they're Russian. I had a fucking Polish teacher, Mister Emilicki. He was a cool shit. He was in the fucking uh, in a war. I used to always take Albert to fucking Herbie's and fucking Quiznos and all that cool shit. He's my buddy. Did you have change? I did not have any change. What do you need change for? Coffee. She wants pee. Taking him away. I'm on. I'm at the pack and act right now. Oh shit! He's on my ass. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I don't know, but dude, this chick's kind of tall though. Is he on you guys right now?
That would have been hilarious if he was standing right there. Yeah, doing fucking, his bells. I would have screamed. How's it going, eh? I don't understand yet. Hey, how's it going, hey bro? Not too bad, my friend. How are you doing? Not bad. Cheese, but it's jalapeno cheese. Yeah, Havarti is that what it's called? No, just it's cheddar. like that. Great. Yeah. I had some with uh, habaneros. That's what it is, habanero. Yeah. Is it a habanero or a jalapeno? No habanero. Yeah, it's good shit. Or there's the fucking mine something jack. Monterey jack. Yeah, that was habanero. That's good too. Is Jason on you guys? You guys know where he is? I ain't gonna make nachos with that. Oh yeah. She does that. Got crackers, have ya? Ew, it's Chad. on you guys okay I'm trying to get the car ok 
Okay, tell me when he takes off, okay? Check where they're at. They're all up there fighting them right now. I feel like he's having a gun in the car and mowed them all down by accident. He's got all the woods. What are you saying? Oh yeah, you sounded it. <laughs> Holy God. Call a uh, life alert. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. I think I put that on right. Alright. Alright, bro. But. <clears throat> hey, six, what? He sounds like he's fucking drunk as fuck. I couldn't even understand what he was saying. Worked. It actually worked! Yeah, you got to close, then I... Well, he's getting the old dust. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Get that. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I'm waiting for him. Yeah, where are you? Damn it. <laughs> no. It would have been funny if you were all standing there. Oh! Oh, no way! Either can I, man. Derp, derp. That was awesome. That was all technique. That was all technique. I like I'm hitting that tree. Holy fuck, I didn't hit the tree! I was like playing that snowboard game. But it's time that one's actually really home. fun to ski. You can snowboard, you ski, you can wingsuit. That's <laughs> awesome. Game. I always wish, I don't know if there is, but I wish I could find like a demolition derby game. Man. Yeah. How's that demolition derby be fun, man? Like you can build your car, fucking do this, do that, fucking. Ooh. <clears throat> you don't just have to be on PC, you could be on mobile. Multi twitch? Yeah, yeah, you... yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Then I've got, I've got the, uh, Are you going after this? Uh, Don't tell me. I'm going to say it's... 
1123. Yeah, that's what I know. Well, we're 1056. Well, I will, uh, I'll let you know in a sec here. I'm usually right within about three or four hours. <laughs> so I'm talking to you like right on. I'm oh yeah, I used to always do it with the guys at work. Because I, I don't know, it's... If it's like 9 o'clock and I look at the clock, I can figure out if it's like 6 hours later what time it is. I can, I, it's just all something I've been good at doing. So when it'd be first break in the morning, I would look at the clock or something like that. Then fucking a couple hours later, somebody would go, hey, fuck, what time is it? And I'd do my little fucking, oh, that's what Bouncing out the clouds. Yeah, and, uh, meet Derek for a second. 20 after 1, and they'd be like, holy fuck, man, it's like 25 after 1, you know? Like, yeah, fuck. I always do that when I don't have my Fitbit on, when I have to go cover breaks. I'm like, oh, crap, what time is it? Because I have to be at a certain point. Like, oh, right on, two minutes, man. Something's always going to get it. I missed that. What was uh, that? I just got to mute him. Oh, shit. Anyway. I, th I think the multi was working. Yeah, we did see. So I bought no cocaine. Alright, hopefully it's me, man. And if not, whis whisper me that link, will ya? I gotta update mine. Down at this moment, like thank the friends. Oh, mother! Fuck! I gotta get out of here now. I already have my speech prepared and everything. <laughs> Let the good times roll. Speak up without you being warned. Sort of banging, uh, guys and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, he found out it was a guy he used to know was one of the guys that she was fucking. So he's like, "Fuck!" He showed up half court and fucking. He's like, "Yeah, I want to go fucking punch him out." Looks like, "Let's go." And Barry's like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, fucking long story short, fucking Luke and him sat there and got all drunk and went over there. <laughs> and he goes, fuck, oh, it was the funniest thing. And Barry's like, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. As soon as Barry gets there, he's like, boy, you fucked my girlfriend, man. And he hugs me. You know we're friends. Oh, man. <laughs> no <laughs> way. <laughs> what a little bitch. Oh. oh, man. Fuck, see my man over his booty. What a fucking bitch. I even said to him, I go, Barry, what do you expect your little lady to do? You left her. And start banging all these checks, man. You think yeah, I'm just gonna sit there? Well, if you say you're gonna do something, don't fucking do it. Don't be a poser. Hmm. Barry. <laughs> fucking, I can see that. <laughs> Barry's a fucking hound, man. Alright, we'll yeah, see you guys. Have a good one.
We all got cat? Going into my trap that I placed at the bottom of the stairs? Aha! That's why I put that trap at the bottom of the stairs, because I wanted you to think I was upstairs, dude. That's why I did that. Holy shit! Is that a dead body? Right there!
Wait a second, what? 